learning this so well. This is the medal that all of you are going to get on May 28th. When you cross that finish line as a champion, because that's what you guys are, I'm Brian Warren, Executive Director and Founder of Start to Finish, formerly Kids Fest, now Start to Finish. You know, when we look back over 11 years, it's hard to believe how far we've come. But I remember in the very early days, sitting in Daryl Budd's office and saying, Daryl, I need some help. Daryl has an incredible heart uh, and a, a benevolent spirit for really helping out causes and he does so much in the Oakville area. But he said, Brian, I like what, what you're doing helping children in poverty. 1.5 million children in Canada, one in five Canadian children living in poverty, 34% higher in, in Hamilton. But literally, you know, you see that uh, Canada, we have the means, we just don't have the will a lot of times because many times we just don't know. When he found out about the need, then he said, you know what we can do, I can get you a vehicle. You guys have been amazing, working so hard all year. I am so proud of you because of how well you've done. Not only uh, was it an incredible gift in helping us start off and, and raise awareness, but at the same time we were able to go to the different locations where we are directly at the schools. Now, 11 years later, we've reached over 40,000 kids because of the generosity of Bud's BMW, because of Daryl Bud and also Chris Bud. But also, we have been able to uh, take children through a pathway of hope. You can see the truck behind me here, the pathway of hope. Formerly Kids Fest, in order to break the vicious cycle of child poverty, we have to start with the problem. And that start these children, grades one through six, down a pathway of hope with literally giving them the tools and the educational materials to break the vicious cycle of child poverty and allow them to become valuable contributors within their respective community. When there's a lot of stress in our body, the sympathetic nervous system runs at high. It's almost like it's operating all the time. And when that's operating all the time, the body releases cortisol. Cortisol actually um, impacts negatively the hippocampus, which is the center in our brain where we, we, uh, we retain information, we learn, our memory. And when cortisol is high, it actually kills the cells in the hippocampus. So bringing physical activity in, bringing into balance the sympathetic nervous system with another system called parasympathetic, which brings the cortisol down. Then after we do this, we go into a literacy time, and now, hey, they're in an opportune place physiologically to retain, to, to memorize. And so that's why we've seen literacy go up dramatically. Thank you, all of you, uh, very faithful uh, BMW, customers uh, for all the work that you've done and all the help that you've given us to break the vicious cycle of child poverty in Canada. We started with just a, a few kids, now 40,000 kids later, but we're looking at knocking on the door of the next 100,000. And with your help, I know we can.